It's Bonnie. Happy Wednesday. I am burning suntan today. Oh my goodness. I never in a million years thought that I would buy a Bath & Body Works suntan candle because a couple years ago it just was not my thing. It's funny. I remember I was at semi-annual sale about a year and a half ago and they had a bunch of suntan candles for like five bucks and both my mother and I were like, mm-mm. <laughs> And it was kind of like the pizza candle. I'm like, I don't know. Suntan was just not my thing. I've come to appreciate suntan a little bit more. And I'm going to explain why. But it's a little too strong for me. But first, oh my gosh, I got back down to the beach today. It is like, what is it now? It's 70 degrees out. It is warm today, you guys, in Northeast Ohio. I'm putting up some pictures. So what happens on the Lake Erie shoreline is is that you get these like giant ice mounds and um, you never want to like go past uh, the ice because it's dangerous. <laughs> you don't want to walk on this stuff uh, because as it melts, it can collapse into the water. Um, so we just stay on the sand, it's perfectly safe. But um, as you can see from yesterday even, uh, there's a lot of meltage that has been happening, but there's still these giant ice mounds that are there. I'm amazed, being 70 degrees today, how um, how much ice there still is down there. So I'm going to go back again tomorrow, kind of check things out, but it's definitely a slow melt. It wasn't super sunny today. It was a little bit more overcast. Um, I, I don't know if it's still overcast. Yeah, it's still, still pretty overcast. <laughs> Look out the window. Um, so I think that was why we didn't get, like, more melting. But it was kind of interesting. I did find some beach glass, so, <laughs> so that was exciting. But I was feeling beachy being down there. And I came back and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to burn suntan. So I got suntan in this cute little single wick. Because I didn't want to commit to the to the, um, to the three wick yet. I was like, oh my gosh. Um, so this one's got this adorable little octopus on it. And the scent notes in this one are sun-kissed citrus, orange blossoms, and coconut husk, which that's a little bit confusing to me because I don't exactly, um, I'm, I'm not kind of in touch with the scent notes and the candle. So to me, what this smells like is um, suntan lotion. I mean, it really does. I've actually had this going for about an hour and a half from the minute I lit this one up. And we're talking in the single wick, you guys. It just was a burst of fragrance. It's really, really strong. Um, I would say it smells like suntan lotion with like a coconut orange blossom element. It's very deep. It's very um, strong. So if you like a really summery suntan like candle, this is the candle for you. A lot of people love this one. Um, the single wicks, I like the fact that they did the, the brightly colored wax in these. Very pretty. Uh, Waikiki Beach Coconut. There's like a palm on it. Uh, banana, uh, passion fruit and banana flower. Um, there's like a leaf. Mango Mai Tai has the, um, the cute little pink flamingo, hibiscus waterfalls, and ocean driftwood are all the same style. So I think you could get like a set of these and like decorate really cute. The three wick looks like this, only it's blue. The three wick is gorgeous, actually. Um, if it goes on sale for semi-annual, I might pick up the three wick because I just like the color. So it's blue, and then um, it's the same design as this. It kind of looks like the whole tiki thing going on, which I really like. Um... For a single wick, this candle is packing a lot of fragrance, you guys. Oh my goodness. So usually a single wick for me um, is good in a smaller space, like a smaller bedroom, a bathroom, um, or a smaller kitchen, something like that. A small room, because um, it's only a single wick. It's not going to fill the room like a three wick. This one is the exception. I, f I actually had this in the living room for a few minutes, and my living room's pretty big, and it was filling the living room pretty good. So there's a couple of single wicks out there, and suntan is one of them, that will um, fill your house as well as the three wick. I'd actually almost be afraid to burn the three wick, because I think I'm going to go with this... <laughs> I'm going to rank this one a high, high, and I never do that. You know, that's like for the mahogany teak one. To me, this is one of the strongest Bath & Body Works candles, um, like, ever, is suntan. So if you're looking for, like I said, a candle that's super beachy, 
super suntanny, that's the candle for you. It's funny because um, I wanted to compare it for a second to Hibiscus Paradise. This candle, by the way, is absolutely gorgeous if you haven't picked this one up. Hibiscus Paradise is pink hibiscus, juicy guava, and sun-kissed coconut. Um, now remember, there's a coconut element in suntan also, and it is, what is it? It's the, um, it's the coconut husk. But you know what's funny about coconut hibiscus? I think they're cousins. They're not siblings. They're cousins. But I feel like suntan could be the base in um, hibiscus paradise, and then they added in, um, the hibiscus and the juicy guava, a lot of it. But there's something about hibi hibiscus paradise that kind of reminds me of, um, the suntan candle. So if you like suntan, you might like hibiscus paradise. If you like hibiscus paradise, you might like suntan. So anyway, that is my take on suntan. Let me know what you guys think. Is this one of your favorite candles? I could have blown this one out. It's too strong right now. <laughs> I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.